hey welcome back to my youtube channel this is angel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like comment tell us what you think about the program today to reward with a fashion house do you like fashion do you have a sense of fashion or you'd like anyone to do fashion again what is happening in the fashion industry how did she start because she's one of the biggest fashion designers in uganda share with me Let's see Duta Fashion House. Hi, welcome to the show. We have our guest. Introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I am Duta, I'm a fashion designer, and I'm very excited to be here today on Angel's channel. Yes. We are so happy to be with you, Duta. Thank you. Yes. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Kubango Genda Kubo Suwa. Take up the bell so that you get notifications all the time when you take your work. She's one of the best designers in Uganda. You guys need to watch. You need to see her work. She has nice work. So today to mobile it today abalage like you mean to wear yakola and when you go young you want fashion but you don't know how how you should start you want fashion maybe your kid wants fashion nenga to man cho ina kola so today we have the right person in the house Duta please tell us where did do you have the passion or you just woke up and you like can call it fashion how did you, how did it start i have the passion angel yeah and this passion starts like from way back when I was little mm -hmm. but you see the highlights came in mm -hmm. when I um, when I was at Chambogo University okay. and um, that's when I started realizing actually mm -hmm. which type of fashion I should go for there was also, there was recycling okay. that I also tried mm -hmm. there was also painting mm -hmm. that I tried mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. I tried out the fabric Okay. Be it, eh? then I realized that actually fabric mm. talks to me and it's the only way I would reach out to the community, yeah. you know. Yeah. And um, you see, I excelled at all these fashion senses, for yeah. example, the recycling. Yeah. I actually did for the Laba, um, Laba Art Festival. Oh, wow. Yes. I saw I think, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did for them uh, a logo and that was in plastic. That was at Chambogo wow, University. Wow. Yeah, but I realized that... Uh, yeah. huh, that was not the area. Okay. Then I also tried out painting. Mm. And yeah, my painting. painting. Yes, wow. my painting like landed in the Emugo Mundi, East African <laughs> book, you but know. You know, like all yeah. the things that you tried out, they mm. ended up like being so nice. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So why and did you then choose this other part? The yes, fabric? I am now coming to that. Okay. Eh? So now, why we, why we were Chambogo, mm. so I get this kind of sense, like... I need to create something that is new, you know? Yeah. And then that's how we came up, me and my friends, that's how we came up with the fashion, static fashion. Eh? Okay. Now, static fashion, we would create the fabrics, mm. and then somebody like becomes like a statue, and then okay. you, the garment is running mm. on them, mm. and they don't have to walk. Eh? Mm. So it caused like, it was a whole new thing, and it caused too much, you know, noise. Eh? Okay. And uh, I realized while I was working on this particular, you know, kind of work, mm -hmm. it spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And I fell like deeply in love with it. And I knew that this is the type of fashion mm -hmm. I want to work with. Because that was the only way mm -hmm. I was going to relate with the person um, who is out there in the community. Yeah, true, you get true, it? Because eh? yeah. I am highly creative. I so know. I find myself I know wanting to create. The viewers, they don't know, so <laughs> yes. they need to know more. Yes. Yes. yes, since that I have that creativity kind of mindset, yeah. I always find myself trying to look out for solutions, eh? you know, when it comes to the community in which we are living in. Eh? Yeah. So now that brings me to now the fashion that I had to create that yes. landed me in the total startup challenge of 2019 yeah, as a finalist. Yes. yes. Yeah. So um, I realized that women are, you know, in my community, yeah. they, they struggle to and breastfeed like in public. There are a lot of women yes. more than men. 
Yes. Yeah. They struggle to breastfeed in public. That's true. I just imagine, yeah? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yes. So there was this scenario that actually happened in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, whereby someone was breastfeeding in a supermarket, mm -hmm. and then it went viral. Like, it yeah, went, that know. scenario went viral. And, you know, there was this guy who was, you know, shouting mm. at this woman, how can you remove your yes. breast in, in public, you know, public. place to, uh, to breastfeed someone. Mm. So, you know, it went viral. Mm. Guess what? It broke the internet. And then people, instead of sympathizing with the woman, instead they were throwing yes. nasty comments, you yeah, know, know, on I the woman. Me. And I was like, oh my God, no. Yes. A mother should not be treated like true, this. True. You get it? Everyone has a mother. You even know, if you have a man, even if you what you have a mother. Thank you. Yes. Imagine your child is feeling hungry. Know, yes. They have to breastfeed. And you're in public. You you're in public. To, what can you do? You, you know, you have no option. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then a mother shouldn't be treated that way mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. So I came up with a solution: the lactating mother's fashion. Yeah. And yeah. It went viral. <laughs> yes. It was a hit. Yeah, it was a hit. And yeah, it is still growing yeah. and people are liking it because it is really addressing the problem that is on. That's true because like, it's kind of like this, right? So you breastfeed from here. Yeah, it has like uh, unique features mm. across the bus area. Mm. You can easily open mm. and then you can close. Then the beauty about it is your neighbor doesn't have to see the situation wow, that is going wow. on while you're breastfeeding. Yeah. Okay, so, so I would like to take you back mm. when you are still at Chambogo. What course did you do? I did industrial art and design with wow. education. I should be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I just see okay. you in class. I know. No, no. I know. This is what, that this was, was the right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I tried all things. Yes, tried trust everything. me, and I was not feeling the teaching. Mm. I tried marketing. I was not feeling the marketing. So, okay. So you have done like a lot of stuff. The lactating. It's called the lactating. Lactating fashion. mother's like, fashion. Yes, yes, that <laughs> one. And then, so we after that, we would like to know about fashion. How is the fashion industry? Like, is there money so that Omuntu Waba Lava Agamba, okay, I can do it? What you over say, is there money or you're just doing it for fun? Yes, the fashion industry mm -hmm. has a lot, a lot of money. It is a multi trillion like business, eh? mm -hmm. you get eh? yeah. But now, how we handle it mm -hmm. is the thing that makes the difference. Eh? Mm -hmm. You get it? Eh? Yeah. There's a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. In the, in the fashion industry mm -hmm. because one everyone has to put on something True. you know because we're all putting on yes, yes. We can't come and here yes the so yeah. the designers are really necessary yeah. so you can't tell me mm. it's it, it does no business yeah it has no business business is there business is there we have to fashion industry please because business is there daughter is saying that business is there it is there so is over a Mogamba takes Mania, the Litanic sent a Neda Zijawa, Katsi, our Twagal of Gamer Dutta. If you want to start a fashion house mm. like this, mm. overcome it, not even this, it's turn it so careful for a start. Mm. How much do you need? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I will not put like a price tag on how much you need mm. because definitely, but you can give us a range, a range, yes. a range. Mm. Um, I'll just give you a sneak peek of how I started, okay. you know, because that would be very important, yeah. maybe to like to throw some light yes. on you. Um, mm. Well, for me, I started online, mm. you know, yeah. I started online mm. and it's from online that would move like from one step mm. to, another. to another. Yes, mm. you'd start like, uh, uh, you know, online. Now brought in customers. And just know like people are buying things from online. Yes. Also, this is... Mm -hmm. Just from online. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, because now to have like premises, it mm -hmm. so happened in February. Mm -hmm. February of this. Of this year. Of this year. And it is this big. Yes. Wow. So oh, it's good. It's by God's grace. So honestly. you started like you could do your stuff and mm -hmm. put online. Yes, I would do like online. I could just have my orders and I just find my customers wherever they are, okay. deliver, mm -hmm. take their measurements and mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Like so about the machines, 
Mm. If I want to start fashion, do I like do I need this same machine or they are different kind of machines? Of course that they are affordable. Yeah, mm. there are different kinds of machines that actually you can go with. There are those that are manual because mm -hmm. these ones are electrical. Okay. So uh, you can choose whatsoever depending on how much you have. is in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. really. Because you can't say you now want to buy something that is electrical, mm -hmm. yet you have like uh, limited yeah. like yeah. funds okay. uh, you get. Mm -hmm. So you can just start with the one that is maybe manual mm -hmm. and then later you can add events. But yeah. whichever way. But as long you as you do nice work. You, you will always have customers mm -hmm. come to you and you will always expand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for how long have, have you been in this, like, serious business? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Serious business. Uh, let me say three years. Three now. years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, three years, but you have done a lot. Three years. Yes. Thank the you. things you have done in three years, they, you have to do them in ten years. You know that? Wow. Yes. <laughs> it's because of the grace. I know. <laughs> the grace of God, you know. So, Dutta. Yeah. Okay, we have seen how it started, mm. what you have done, what have you got mm. in this business? Because you may say that three years, but when you have nothing and you just, mm. you're just making orders, you don't know where you take your money, maybe you just go out, you eat your money. Mm. Like, what have you got? Okay. Which level have you reached so far? One, I'll just talk about the contentment and yeah. the, you know, the fact that you, I'm touching people's lives. Mm -hmm. One, that fulfills my heart. Sure. Like, like yeah. it's something that I, uh, I feel like if I, if I can be able to touch someone's life, mm -hmm. then I'm good at what yeah. I'm doing. Eh? Yes. Yeah, being able to expand mm -hmm. this business, you know. There was yeah. a time where it was not, there yeah, like yeah. it was not visible mm. but now that it has you know premises you and it is growing yes now. and now uh, at the same time we are walking the runways you know yeah. and then uh, you're interacting with the different kinds of people yeah. that are international yeah. and it's it is such a joy mm. that um, that it is expanding yeah, sure. you get it eh? mm. yeah but the most exciting bit about it yeah. being able to touch someone's heart true that's true. yeah yeah that's true. There's, there's nothing that is more fulfilling mm -hmm. than that yeah yeah thank you so much for your great great work i really love your work thank you just tell the viewer about your fashion show okay yeah. yes i happen to be a part of the fashion revolution expo of 2020 and it was on sunday uh, yes it was on thick December, that was Sunday, and it was amazing. I was the first one to showcase. Yeah, my designs were amazing. The show was amazing. I give my shouts to Vivian Zoigal, the founder of uh, the Fashion Revolution Expo. Really, she gave us a platform to yeah, be sure. able, yeah, so many designers. Duta, there is someone that wants to be a fashion designer or someone that admi admires you. What word would you like to tell her or him? I would like to tell them that they need to believe in themselves mm. and be confident about what they can give out there. Mm. And most importantly, to know and believe that God can make everything happen. You can always find us at um, Maji Shopping Center behind Oryx in Bokoto. And uh, we do a variety of things that is uh, men's suits, women's uh, suits, uh, wedding uh, gowns, okay, so casual wedding, I should love. Come, eh? Yeah, <laughs> all those things we have, we got you. Okay, mm -hmm. we enjoyed so much with you, Duta. Thank yes. you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, just tell us how you feel about this program and tell us what would you like. Because maybe you're not interested in fashion. We're not all interested. Yes. <laughs> so you tell us what you want. We, we are going to be always bringing new things all the time. Okay. So I would like to, to ask you. Yes, please. You send your shout outs if you have. And to say the last word to the viewer. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, my fan. Thank you so much for those who, uh, those who have been like supporting Duta Fashions. I'm so happy, and uh, you are the people that really make Duta a brand. 
thank you so much Dita, for being with us for giving us this casual time <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe right now like right now what ago kumanya cheche to today subscribing or take a bell so that when to take ayo or of notifications we have been at dosa fashion house see you next time i say enjoy elamalaika nachuvoka bye bye